What's going on everybody, Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. Today we're going to be talking about what I've been doing to level up alts, which I think is the most effective way for the War Within. Whether you just want to have more characters to play, more of the same character to play different classes, or just a gold making army, or you just want to get some alts together because it's super easy right now in the midst of Pandaria Remix, this video is going to be for you. I think I found an amazing way to space this out, not get burnout, get the alts that you want, and also gather the bronze that you need for all the transmog items and the mounts without getting burnt out and without spending all of your time grinding it on one character. Continually level up alts and get the most bronze uh, out of your time doing that. Before we do that though, don't forget to check out goldcaps.com. There's a link in the description below as well as a discount code. A lot of good guides over there for everything Blizzard's got going on in World of Warcraft, for Season of Discovery, for Classic, for Retail. So go check that out. All right, let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have a character all the way to level 70. Now, the method we're going to talk about you can do. It's just going to take you a little bit, uh, a little bit longer to get that first one to 70. But once you have your first one to 70 and you're in your cloaks all the way maxed out on your alts, you're going to start off with the uh, experience gain at 100% on your cloak for your alts. So that's pretty important. So after you do that, you can just accept the intro quest, get your cloak, accept the quest to listen to the dragon story, and then you can queue for dungeons, which is going to be a big part of how we're going to level up. Leveling up this way, Mist of Pandaria, takes about uh, two and a half to three hours. And you can do that in one shot, that's fine, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing and why I think it's better. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting this up into three days per alt. Um, one, that helps me not get burnt out and dedicate a lot of time to it, and in the end I'm still going to have those alts and the bronze. So the first thing that you're going to want to do before you start this is get a couple add-ons. Uh, the first add-on you're going to want to get is Remix Mail Helper. Now, Remix Mail Helper, what that's going to do is it's going to give you the actual leveling path that we're going to take right here. And I'll leave this down in the description below. Okay, so this tells you what exactly you're going to do and when. And then you're also going to want to get Tomcat Taurus, and you can see that over here to the left of the screen. Tomcat Taurus has a part of it that now has this right here. And it tells you what level you're going to hit or what percentage you are to level 70 based on the experience tokens in your mailbox. So what you're going to do is when you're running dungeons and everything like that, you don't want to loot. So you're just running through not looting. And then when you come to your mailbox, it's going to send you everything. And then Mail Helper here, the add-on, is going to let you retrieve items, and it's going to pull everything out except for your XP tokens. So the whole goal of this is to build your Cloak's XP bonus, and then around uh, level 41-ish, we're going to pop all these, and then it's going to get us to level uh, 70. So get this, the Remix Mail Helper, uh, clear a dungeon, and then don't loot anything and then open everything up with this button here retrieve items or just retrieve the threads and click on those threads get you your XP bonus and then meanwhile this is going to calculate exactly how much XP bonus you need to hit 70 so right now if I opened everything in my mailbox all the XP bonuses I'm only going to be 19.3 percent towards level uh, max level so the more XP I get and the more percentage I get up here towards XP, this is going to be all the way up here. So when this is 100%, you can know for sure you're going to open your mailbox and you're going to hit that max level cap. Okay, that's the basis of it. So why do I do this over three days? I do this over three days because basically you're doing three um, raids. You're going to do normal Mogushan Vaults, and then you're going to do normal Heart of Fear, and then you're going to do normal... Um, Terrace of Endless Springs. So, like day one, I will make sure I have this, of course, auto loot turned off, not looting everything. We talked about that. Day one, I'm going to run eight heroic dungeons and I'm going to run normal Mogushan vaults. Day two, I'm going to run six random uh, heroic dungeons and do Heart of Fear. Day three, I'm going to do two random heroic dungeons and Terrace of Endless Springs. And then 
I'm going to open everything up and hit max level. Now, the reason I do this over three days is because it really helps you maximize bronze. You should be parked at your cities or your factions major city in the Veil vale of Eternal Blossoms. If you're Alliance, you are the Shrine of Seven Stars. And then I think you're the Shrine of Two Moons if you're Horde. They're pretty much in the same area. So every day you're going to want to get this dungeon. Uh, Aturo's here. You're going to talk to this guy that is the Dungeon in Peril. Looking for group, you're going to accept this quest. Kill three dungeon bosses. And then you're going to accept this quest from this guy who does the Heroic and Mythic Raid Apparel to kill two raid bosses. And what this does is give you a minor cast of bronze and then some bronze and stuff out of this cache here. So it's going to really help you maximize your bronze. So we do a raid three times. So I split it over three days. It takes me about an hour, 45 minutes a day. I get this extra bronze from these quests, park my ult, do it again the next day, do it again the next day, and then I start to build my alt army like that. So that's the method I'm using, the three-day method where you're doing it through that dungeon run and raid run, not looting, using those two add-ons, saving the XP boosts, getting as much bronze as I can with those dailies, getting max level, and then moving on to the next alt. So let me know what you're doing. Let me know if this is helpful to you. What kind of alts are you leveling? Why are you leveling them? Have fun playing the game. And until next time, I'll catch you all later.